Welcome to Cartoon Hangover, I'm Jesse. I'm Dan. And you might be thinking, this isn't a cartoon, and this isn't an update, what's happening? Today we're making the Dodeca Mega Heat, which is a sandwich from City Dwellers, our latest Go Cartoons animated short. That's City Dwellers, I love that. There's like a tree person, a beaver person, a ninja dog that fights samurais, but... Most the, importantly is the sandwich. The sandwich, the true star of this short. We're essentially building a 12 layer sandwich, crispy deep frying it in batter, and then topping it with house aioli. House aioli, that's what they called me in high school. <laughs> <laughs> So step one is going to be building the sandwich, but there's something up with this bread. We have to get how many how many stacks do we have to get? Uh, twelve layers of sandwich. Twelve layers of sandwich with very very flimsy bread. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Now I want us to find a solution so we could actually put this wet wet deli meat on top of it. How about we crisp it up and toast it? You're a wizard, aren't you? <laughs> a little bit. I'm a little wizardy. Show me some of that stage match. Show me that Chris Angel. Adrian, now swap it out, and we'll just like cut to see as if it was totally Whoa! Hogwarts over here. So we got our 14 pieces of toasted bread. You're gonna want to toast your bread. We got coleslaw. Mm -hmm. We got our bologna. Two types of cheese. Mm -hmm. Chicken bones. Chicken bones? Wait, there's chicken bones in the sandwich? Salami. And a head of iceberg lettuce? Let's get building. That was the grossest noise I've ever heard. Okay, I gotta give this one a try. <laughs> Gently. Gently. I think we have it. Can we get the full turn on it? No, we can't. Okay. We're going with plan B. Plan B? We're gonna skewer it. How tall is that skewer compared to it? Uh, we should be about an inch over. So. And I've hit the plate. Yeah. And she stands. Hey! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Got bologna on my face. So here it is. We managed to put the sandwich together. Mm -hmm. What's the next step? We're gonna make some batter so we can deep fry this. All right, let's do it. Cool. Uh, editing trick that makes it look like we magically cleared the table and set up new stuff. So we're ready to make our batter. Jesse, what goes into making a good one? Good batter needs bad beer. You can do stuff like club soda or I believe tonic water also works. It really depends on what kind of batter you're going for. There is a reason you do want the carbonation. Huh? So we have to mix all of the dry ingredients first. Right. So we got our flour our cornstarch, baking powder, garlic powder. We got a lot of powders. No one really gives a crap, do they? One cup of flour, half cup cornstarch, two teaspoons baking powder, one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon pepper. We have whole peppercorn. So um, this is something called a time lapse in the film world. I mean, we're not even a quarter of the way there. Wow, look at that full tablespoon. Dan, do you see how good that tablespoon yep. is? Let's drop the yeah, whole drop the tablespoon whole. in. Got a little bit of uh, Chipotle Southwest excitement. What else then, Mr. Batterman? We're gonna put in garlic powder. <laughs> garlic powder. Okay, put it right in my eyeball. <laughs> Shall we pour our our beer in and whisk? Nice and slow. Okay, slower, slower. Uh, so this that entire not... time, I was under the impression that Dan was like, Oh, I cook a lot. Have you not seen my very good Instagram? Nope. Uh, and it turns out he's making this up. What, is, what do I do with that? It's like a cage for batter. <laughs> wow, you're doing a way better job than I did. Yeah, because I know what I'm doing. Oh yeah, look at that pour. You uh, should just maybe get a spoonful. If you will spoon feed me some of this, I will do it. All right. Where did you get that from? <laughs> Why do you have a spoon? I had in it here? ready for this purpose. The train is leaving the station. Arriving at Jesse's mouth. Oh god! It wasn't that bad. I got chunks. All there right. we go. We have our big old Tupperware full yeah. of batter. So we're back with the sandwich. We have our batter. Mm -hmm. Next step is to douse this puppy and get it fried up. Excuse we're going me. to. Use a turkey Boom. deep fryer. Pretty much, we're gonna fill this with hot oil, turn on our propane tank, turn on the burner, coat this, dip it right in. All right, let's do it. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, cool. Adrian, where's the propane tank? I need gloves, That's we illegal. can glop this off. I'm sorry, what? That's illegal. Why? <laughs> um, well, first of all, you're indoors. It's the fourth floor. Look around you, it's a fire hazard. So our producer said that I cannot deep fry this and bring a propane tank into the fourth floor of this office for many, many reasons that would take too long to list. So, let's find the closest alleyway. All right. Whoa. 
We did not cover the sandwich properly. We'll have to flip it. So Dan, you really, you know, has this inspired you to cook? No. <laughs> Whoa! We totally deep fried it and changed our clothes so we no longer smell like hot, hot oil. Am I right, Dan? Yeah. Let's pull the skewer and then we'll add our house aioli sauce that we just mixed together. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Now, I'm gonna do the dollop and I believe you're gonna cut in half so we can get that nice, yes. nice look. Yes, I am going to attempt to dissect this thing. We do have those two chicken bones sticking out, so that might cause some issues, but we're gonna try. Cool, and now remind me, what exactly is in here? It's 12 layers of sandwich. Mm -hmm. Crispy deep fried in batter. Mm -hmm. with? Topped with house aioli. Oh. Boom! There we go. Do we need a bread knife? We're making progress. I keep seeing this blade stick out and Ugh. it's coming close towards me and. Oh. We're making it. We're all the way down. We're through. Go. Uh. Oh! What? That actually doesn't that, look too bad. Inside. No, it doesn't. It kind of looks like a really big sub sandwich from that angle. Yeah. You know, I haven't had any lunch. Well, good thing for you. We got your lunch right here. I guess. Ready? Wish me luck. Three, two, one. It's not too bad. Really? The inside tastes like a regular sandwich. Uh huh. The bite I got had a lot of cheese in it. It doesn't taste as bad as I thought it would. Really? Yeah. I gotta try it. Hold it. Hold it. Okay. <laughs> 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 well, should we invite some of our beautiful co-workers in to yeah. try this sandwich? You mean the ones who doubted us, who said this will never work? Yeah, those ones. Let's get them in here. Mm -hmm. She's in. Mm. Pickle-y. Are there pickles in there? There are no nope. pickles in there. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have today? Pizza dough. <laughs> what was the special ingredient? Pizza dough. I like the temperature, the way it feels in my hands. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Massive bite. The biggest we've seen yet today. Big bite, big bite. Big chew. Big lead chew. <laughs> I loved it. It's very good. Wait, really? I really do like it. Oh, wow. I thought you were about to quit. No, no. It's, it's a very good sandwich. It's like a city dweller sandwich. You can't get every single layer in one bite, but it's very good. Thank you, Chef. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> this God. side has not been bitten yet. That we know of. That we know of. What? You know what? It's actually really good. I feel like you guys balanced it out pretty well. Wow. To me. Good we'll job. take it. And this is the first time I've had a fried sandwich. So. <laughs> Everyone's saying they really like this sandwich, and I think I might have forgot to close the propane tank because something is wrong with these people. <laughs> bon appetit. Mm. Bon apple tea. Okay. What's that crunchy thing? That's the crispy fried batter. Yeah. I think, I hope. It doesn't look appetizing. You know, it's not bad. It's not bad, it's but not, not bad, good. But it's not good. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh, oh, uh -huh, you're uh -huh, de-skinning uh -huh, it. Uh-huh, we're not gonna help. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as bad as it would be. <laughs> Do you think you can eat an entire one of these? No, I would die. I'm, maybe when I was 13. Mm. I could put away a lot of pizza rolls back then, but not today. If you were like out with a bunch of friends and like the next day, would you order this at a restaurant? You know what? Depending on how much we had to drink, yes. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> hey, Dan. Hey, what? You want to start a restaurant? No. Marley, are you ready to try oh. the Dodeca Mega Heap? I, is it ready? A piece of it just <laughs> fell off. It's jumping towards your mouth. That wasn't a real bite. <laughs> I don't know if it's real enough. How you feeling, buddy? Not great. Death knocking on your door right now? It's not as bad as I thought it was, but it's still pretty bad. If someone was be like, yo, I'll give you $10 to eat another bite, would you? Oh yeah, for 10 oh, bucks, okay. totally. It was, so it's not that bad. Yeah, I'm very shallow. I'll do anything <laughs> for a couple bucks, almost, almost anything. If city dwellers can break a million views by February 1st, I'm gonna give you $100 to and eat. make another sandwich and make you eat the entire thing live I'm on not stream. making another sandwich. You've got a deal. You just, that's just the chicken. <laughs> what? I don't want the rest of it. You see this bread, it looks disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's really close. I don't like that. 
<laughs> I do not like that part at all. Not one bit, huh? No. So we did it. We made the Dodeca Mega Heat from City Dwellers. Thank you everyone in the office who came to eat this. I'm so sorry. Part of me said that this isn't going to work. It's going to fall apart. Mm -hmm. We're going to catch on fire and die when we try to fry it. But no injuries. Everyone has kept it down so far. This is a, a terrible, terrible it's experience. One time thing. Yes. So Except if City Dwellers hits 1 million views, we will make another one and Marley will eat the entire thing, perhaps on a live stream. But if we want to get 2 million views, Dan, where can we watch it? You can watch City Dwellers and all of the newest Go cartoons right here on Cartoon Hangover on YouTube and on Verve. What? You mean to tell me I can watch this on YouTube and on vrv.co backslash Cartoon Hangover and just watch all of City Dwellers and every single Go cartoon along with the Fred Ray Digital Shorts? That's right. Do you think you can eat the entire Dodeca Mega Heat from City Dwellers? And do you want to see more videos like this? Make sure to leave it right here in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed because if you're subscribed, you can hit that bell icon to become part of the notification squad so you get alerted every time we upload a video. Isn't that right, Dan? That's and right. what else? Thank you for sharing your cartoon hangover. Ah!